Howdy all, just thought I'd do a quick little video of my file jig in action, but before I start, setting a blade up, I sort of take a lot of time to ensure that I've got the blade forward enough so I don't try and dig into my jig. Another thing to remember is to always, as far as on your front edge along here, I take a measurement. I mark it with a black texture and I put a center line from one end to the other and it gives you something to work to. Once I've done one side, I'll generally measure the height of that bevel and do a rough mark on the other side as well and work to that line. So I know I'm getting them pretty much spot on both sides. So anyway, this is how I do it. I always use a file card, make sure that the file's pretty clean. Probably doesn't matter so much using the bastard for the rough cut. It's more on the smooth that you need to do that. But anyway, here we go. Thing doesn't hurt. Reposition yourself a bit and change hands. Bit funny. First time I've used. First time I've done a big bit of saw blade. I kneeled it a couple of nights ago. And I do find occasionally that you, you will feel some soft and hard spots. I don't think that's too much of a problem. I'll be doing a normalising three times before you do any heat treating. I regularly collect all the shavings. Keep them in a jar. I've actually got this jar close to half full. Bit of weight in it. all sorts of uses in the future. Also remember, try and use the full length of the file. No point just using a couple of inches and having that couple of inches wear out. And no point just doing little strokes down the bottom here. If I come too far, I'll bottom out on the hose clamp anyway, so no point going too far, but and there's no problem with going slow. I'm going a bit quick at the moment, only because I'm just taking the bulk off. Once I get to pretty close where I am, I change to a fine file and slow it right down. So it's all pretty easy. I always use both hands. You know, I could sit here with one hand if I wanted to, but I use the other hand to apply a little bit of pressure and use this hand on the golf ball more just for pushing and pulling back. I don't try and grip too hard because I can be here for a couple of hours. So. Yeah. Probably notice, I don't know if you can hear that difference, but obviously a bit of a hard spot here. File's almost skating over it. But I must say that this file's actually starting to get a little bit worn, so once I'm not happy with how it's cutting, I'll just flip these over and I'll be able to start using the other side. See, that's what happens sometimes if you go too hard. So always just take your time. Yeah, 
definitely a bit of a harder spot just in this area, but I do find that if I do go too hard for too long, I actually start heating the blade up too, so I don't think I'll get it hot enough to be a problem. But right there. But I do find it's quite often just a couple of strokes it starts to get better so anyway that's how I do it folks thanks and remember be shifty and be safe